folks, Sean here with RC Rotor Pro. Uh, a little technical tip, tech tip today. Um, this is a little modification I like to do to um, my quads and multi rotors to help have a good secure positive engagement uh, of the connections between the motor and the speed controllers. Uh, basically what I'm doing is taking some thin wall fuel tubing. This is actually clunk line fuel tubing for RC helicopters. Uh, you can get some clunk line fuel tubing for an uh, uh, airplane or whatever. And uh, what we're going to do here is use this, cutting a small increment here on the connection to make it real secure so you have no failures in flight. Uh, cheap, simple, easy insurance. Let me uh, move in here. Uh, I got a little QAV 400 here and uh, this is going to be our little test guy. Uh, what I want to do is show you, we've got a connector here that's loose, okay? You can see how loose that is, literally you can just kind of barely even move it and it's plop, not good, not good. Um, first thing you're going to want to do before we get to the one part is, you're going to want to, if you're fortunate enough to be running some bullet connectors like this, these are what the Tiger Motors come with. I think they're fantastic connectors. We also sell these in the shop. What you can do is you can actually mechanically spread these little barbs out of here and it's going to really improve your connection. That alone helps a lot. And that way you're getting consistent power through your system. Okay, now we got a much more better, you know, bite there. But to move on to what the real tip here today, what I'd like to show you is you're going to get some fuel tubing. This stuff works great, but what is really important is this fuel tubing is not your standard nitro fuel tubing. What this is, is this is a very thin wall uh, fuel tubing. It's used in the clunk lines for uh, airplanes or uh, helicopters uh, for the pickup. It's a thin wall because that clunk line inside the tank's got to move around real good. We want a thin wall here because if you use a standard fuel tubing, it makes the job really hard and the securement, securing the uh, fastening these together doesn't really help and just makes your job a little more difficult. So if you get the thin wall, uh, clunk line style fuel tubing, it's going to make it a lot easier to work with and it works a lot better. What you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of this, cut it somewhere around, oh, 15 mils probably good. Anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 mils seems to work really well for me. If you go too long, it makes things a lot more difficult. Uh, what you're going to do is get a small pair of pliers here, nice little thin needle nose. You're going to run these up almost to the end and spread out the fuel line, something just like so. Now you're going to take your connection here, open it up, and we're going to go to the female side. I always like to have the power on the female side uh, coming from the speed controller. That's the correct method there. You're, and you're going to take this and basically just slide it in there, something just like so. Hopefully you can see that. And we're going to push this off, release. Okay. Now you got it just like this to where it's a little bit behind the joint. Okay, and you're going to now slide your connector in, make sure it's still nice and secure for a good contact, and after that, you're going to slide this thin walled tubing, fuel tubing, over the connection. Now, what you'll end up with is something that's going to look like that. That's what you're shooting for, you know. You want a couple millimeters on each side of that connector. and what this does is makes for a really secure engagement. I mean, this is much more secure. I would say five times more secure than it is without it, easily. And you can pull and literally, you could uh, hang the multi-rotor, you know, a couple pounds by that one connector, and that's not coming undone. Okay, it takes a lot of force to pull this. You'll even hear a pop if you listen, okay, when that comes undone. And it, it takes a, a good amount of force to pull those out. Uh, so. Basically, that's all it is, and it's a great, uh, cheap, simple, easy insurance anyone can do. Just pick up some of this fuel tubing. Like I said, you want thin wall, so if you go to your local hobby shop or whatever, you can get the standard fuel tubing. Best way to tell if it's thin wall, even if it's in the pack, just take your fingers on there and press on it. If it's pretty stiff, that's not thin wall. That's not what you want. What you want is the stuff that when you put your fingers on there to crush that, you're going to feel it. It crushes a lot easier. That's because of the thin wall. It's got a larger inner diameter there and hence it's a little more wiggly a little more malleable as you might say but anyways so that's the stuff you're looking for uh, again great little tip simple easy 
Uh, anyone can do that and uh, it takes a minutes and uh, you know a couple bucks you spend here four or five dollars whatever this gives you about a meter or three feet uh, you're doing almost half an inch on a connection that gives you what's that 36 72 72 joints you could do with this uh, you know 25 nearly 25 motor connections and uh, cheap simple easy insurance get you in the air safely